What's up everybody, Ouija here, welcome back to my channel. So, my BFF Kaysen, which she's really amazing and I love her so much, let me her 3DS capture card, yay! So I'm finally able to give you guys an awesome Animal Crossing tour of my town. Um, if you can't tell already, my town is based off of The Legend of Zelda, which I really, really love. It's one of my favorite games of all time, a uh, game franchises that is, although I have yet to play three of the franchise's games, but I will one day. <laughs> um, I'm going to start over here, just because I'm going to leave my um, dream address in the description box below for you guys, in case you guys want to come visit yourselves and have fun. So anyway, let's get started. Um, so when you wake up in the dream address, you'll be waking up here between, well, Isabel and Mr. Red right here. won't be here, but you'll be waking up in a nice, comfy bed right here. And then you'll head over and pick up some... Uh, Invisible clothes. Just kidding. Um, I have Link's outfit here for you guys in case you want to wear it and while you're in here. Um, but I had um, some fun with friends the last time I was here and I don't know what happened to clothes. They're gone, but I got power saved so I could just get them back. So right here I have some Legend of Zelda items. If you guys are interested in, you know, picking these up and walking around with them. Right here I have a green glow wand. So you present it's a master sword. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait hold on. Let me, let me. Uh, yay. Look at, uh, I'm going to cut down this bush. Uh, uh. Okay, it doesn't work that way. But, these are some nice little items you guys could just have fun and play around with. So... Once you wake up and get your get your clothes on and stuff, you can come over to the fortune teller's house. Oh, what do you want? Better be something good, though. Yeah, may villagers call me Super J. Profession and a what? Oh, possession, brown. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. I'll get rid of it. What am I gonna do with the bug anyway? I already have it in the museum, too. Oh, money. Yes. Alright, so leave me alone. I'm trying to give my my viewers here a tour of my town, and you're interrupting. Just kidding, Sal. I love you. Okay, let's go inside the fortune teller cells. Ooh, I love it here. I love spooky things. This is actually one of my favorite sets in Animal Crossing. Oh, the song is amazing as well. This is where you come to get your fortune told. Um, like, well, I've kind of based this off a of link to the past, where the fortune teller actually tells you, like, where to head if you're lost in the game. So, yeah, that's why this is here. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Let me find the right emotion for this. Where is it at? Where is it at? Ugh. I can't even find it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, ooh, spooky! <laughs> let's dance! Ooh. Give me a little dance! 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 There we go. That dance is so cute. Adorable. My soup's almost ready, but I'll come back for it later. It's a uh, veggie soup. Alrighty. Next, we're, oh, oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, my little, my villagers are wearing cute little legends, all the clothes that I made for them, because they're so adorable. <laughs> yes, I am obsessed with legends, all the, alright, let's head to my house, which is aka Link's house, um, from A Link to the Past. So, I try to do my best to base this off of the room of A Link to the Past. If you haven't, if you have not seen the way it looks, you could always Google it or whatever. But this is usually the way it looks in the game. And here's little Link asleep in the bed. Oh. Link, you must wake up and say, oh. Uh. <laughs> I laid on top of Link. How funny. I also gave him his little um, boomerang up here, you know, and stuff. And yeah, this this house is pretty basic, but you know, it's it's the hero's house. And yeah, ooh, mm, give me some I'm hungry. Alright, let's go check out more of my town. Alrighty, let's see where it, Oh I have mail. I'll check it later. My patterns are um actually based off of the Game Boy version of Legend of Zelda. 
um, what was it called again? Link's Awakening. There you go. I put a cute little little bell in my town. This bird is from A Link to the Past. It's a town statue bird, which I find really cute and adorable. All the patterns were made were handmade by me. I um, I made them from looking at the sprites online. Oh, uh, this is where my beautiful Marshall was. You know, um, he was the best villager in this town, and I'm so sad he's gone. I'm pretty sure my friend could take care of him. I hope so. Or else I'm going to be really mad. Wait. There you go. It's hard to do. It's hard to press these buttons without a without a pen. Oh, here's a Penelope. Yeah. Um, my town hall. I, I wanted to change it, but I I haven't unlocked it yet to decorate it. I wanted to change it to like that old like wooden look, that Zen one. But whatever. The flag I got offline. Everybody likes the flag. They think I did it. <laughs> I wish. Oh, and look, guys, it's the cuckoos. Here's a little cuckoo cuckoo farm. Little cuckoo farm I made here. Um, I put a wall here because it looks nice. I put a, a zen clock here because it looks nice. And now the cuckoos are escaping. No, don't let the cuckoos out. I think I had a sign right here that said don't let the cuckoos out. Unless I took it off. Probably did. Oh yeah, my beach. My beach designs are based off of um, Link's Awakening as well. Cute little shells. I, I made all these. My character doesn't have it though. My character just has, I think, the grass, maybe? Oh yeah, I just have the fences, the grass. Ooh, the gravestones. I just have those. I have three characters in this town, so I have a bunch of a bunch of de decorations. Anyways, these are extra stuff that I don't want. I don't know what they're doing here. I need to get rid of them. I need to sell them. Alright, alright, let's get going, let's get going. So this is basically supposed to be Kakariko Village. Ka Kakariko. <laughs> that name is kind of hard to pronounce. This little sign says Kakariko Village, if you could read it, which you can, can't, but let's go. Oh, this is a cute little stand I made so you can pretend you're a, a piece of heart. Hold on, let me see a funny your face. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yeah. I like this one. That's me. <laughs> I had to take a picture. I mean, I made this myself too, by the way. Over here, let's see. Over here. I just added this. It's kind of like an ancient ruin type of thing. I guess, like a temple in a way. If you want to call it that. Ooh, I found some treasure. I added cute little treasures too in the grass. Oh, by the way, guys. If you find the secret bathing suit on the beach... You could get the secret treasure! Who knows what might be in there? Maybe a piece of heart? Okay, so this is like the forest type of thing. I have an octorock right here. I have a... Um, gosh, I forget what these are called. These green little monster thingies. But this is like kind of like you're traveling to the forest. The woods type of stuff. Down here is... Ooh, a graveyard. This, this is from Link to the Past, this ghost, graveyard ghost. This is actually my favorite part of the game, especially when it's raining. It looks so amazing. I love spooky things. I love it. Alright, let's see. That's... This is... Ooh, look at Pietro. Hmm. Let's give him a quick visit. Oh, my goodness. This is a serial killer's house. He, he will he'll he'll kidnap you and murder you in here. Look at look at look at his face. Of course you've been hoping to drop by. <laughs> uh, 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 nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh. Oh, boy. That was extremely creepy. Whew. No longer. Alright. So, I'm going to show you the... the I kind of like the best part of the town in a way that I find. But it is the um, castle. 
where you rescue Princess Zelda and get the Master Sword and all that good stuff, the Triforce and everything. Ooh. Oh yeah, these soldiers are from A Link to the Past. Added some little skeletons in the floor and stuff. Adorable. Over here, it's like pretending you threw a bomb like, Kapoomi! This is a treasure room of some sort. Um, little, little treasures, I guess. Um, ooh, my treasure. My, tre my treasure, open! Yay! I like it, I think it's really adorable. Let's see, let's see. Let me show you the fairy room where you have to catch fairies so you can restore your health. Ooh, look at these cute little fairies. These are also from A Link to the Past. This pretty much my whole town is based off A Link to the Past. As I mentioned earlier. Duh, Ouija. Anyway, so this is a little net that you use to catch them and you put them in these little pots. These little pots right here. And carry them with you on your awesome adventure to save Princess Zelda! So, let's go into this room. No. Ooh. And here is the room where you get your Master Sword and the Triforce. I, I don't know, I think this is my favorite room out of the whole town. It's really amazing, it has everything. And I like made the windows, the little window decorations with the with the town flag. Pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. And so once you like do everything down here, you go upstairs to the most beautiful room of all with the most amazing woman, Princess Zelda. Ah. Oh, Princess, I came to rescue you. Wait, I need to put the, the proper emotion. There you go. Right here, um, it says, thank you for saving me. Oh, no, thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving Hyrule Hero. <laughs> I don't even remember what I write. But anyway, this is the end of the town tour. Um, also, um, I want to do a little Halloween. Halloween Town Tours, so if you guys have any awesome Halloween Towns or any Halloween Towns that you know of, please, please leave the dream address down below in the comment section and I'll definitely do some YouTube videos for you guys. Because it's Halloween month and I want to visit some awesome Halloween Towns in Animal Crossing. I haven't been to any yet. I mean, I visit all the like main spooky ones like, uh, like what is it? Uh, Echo Village and all that stuff, but... I want some original stuff for you, from you guys, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a nice day, night, whatever, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!